All right, I'm Neil Hurd. I'm a brand consultant, author. I like to think of myself as a social historian. I kind of dabble in permanently writing books in the back of my mind, never quite completing them. And I work for quite a few brands, including sports brands like Maybar and my own brand called Lovers. When I came to speak to Maybar, so Maybar were coming back to market, A, I'd love the brand, you know, and they could see that from the book and stuff that I'd spotted it and was into it. For me, it had that exotic flavor again, you know, pictures of the dream team and, you know, Pep and Deutschkopf and Laudrup and all them wearing this M logo. There's even that thing at the time, you're like, what does that M stand for? You know, it was back from them days. So they were, they knew it was just kind of like in my DNA of football love. But when I spoke to the guys here, um, the thing which sort of got me most was that they didn't want to just focus on the past. Cause I said, look, you, I'm not going to come and work for you if all we're going to do is make retro kits. We sh I'm a big believer that football and fashion and streetwear have never been more related. It's only going to get bigger. That's something I really believe. And um, we got to look to the future. Let's, you know, I want to get back into doing teams, but let's get teams who buy into like making stuff from the club shop that you want to buy. Really cool club wear, really cool training wear. You know, because you know, some of the big clubs or most of the clubs haven't fed us for a long time, you know, as fans. You'd love to go in the club shop and buy some. If you look at all their tat and you think, oh, you know, all right, I'll buy a hat maybe and a scarf and then you go out. Whereas I knew like, start making proper clobber, which you could wear with the team's logo on and then a cool, you know, manufacturer, then it's going to be a beautiful sweet spot. And maybe, uh, God bless them, have like backed me on that and said, yeah, okay. For me, a massive part of maybe is we've got to be a football shirt brand, you know, a football brand. I don't want it to be that, you know, like I said, a, a plastic football brand who happen to, you know, make fashion gear and then pretend they're going to get into football. You know, I want us to be a football brand first and foremost, who are actually really cool. I mean, my reasoning, for want of a better phrase, is to make Maybar the coolest football brand there is, full stop. I mean, that's why I'm on the table for. So we heavily want to get into teams, but can't quite do that as quick as we can. So the quickest way was to make the fashion collection, which I kind of wanted to be not just for fashion. You know, we're obviously going to try and find, sell that, you know, just as a fashion brand to start, but to say, you know, our collection, as you can see bits of it around you and behind me now today, is basically based on tra training wear. It, it would be that if a team took us on, they could wear all this stuff. So there's like training jackets, there's training bibs, you know, there, there's warm down jackets, warm down joggers. Everything is that you would wear to five a side or play in and, and wear in that format. But for once, it'd be something you wouldn't mind wearing to the pub afterwards. You know what I mean? You would look as good going there and leaving there as, as you'd want to compared to being like, well, I've worn this because I'm supposed to wear it for five a side or whatever. You know what I mean? So if you think of American team wear, sports wear, no one bats an eyelid of us wearing that totally top to bottom, you know, an NY cap. It's even, people forget what it means, you know, they're sports clubs. Yeah. And that's what is gonna happen, the football gear, I think, you know, you're gonna end up, and that's why Juventus changed their name, you know, their logo to a J. They, they can see what's coming, they know what they wanna be. And we're kind of part of that journey, maybe, I think, you know, maybe an important one where overtly I'm saying, no, I want that to be even more before anything else, it's as equal as the football. Looking good and being fashionable with our kit and gear is as important as the, as um, you know, everything else. You know, I'm into collaborations because I love the feel that other people bring in. And for me, we've got like a group coming out in December, but we deliberately sort of like just chose people who a we like really respected and b I knew were into football. So the first we got like a drop of. Uh, reinterpretations of our new kit, but also of um, the old Barca kits, um, including proper or hypodelic. We've done some hypodelic. We're doing you must create six eight seven six, which you know these guys like love their footballs. You know, Kenneth from six eights like mad on Cruyff basically. But at the same time, we're also doing it with um, Mundial Mag. You know, because obviously we're friends with the guys and they love it. Uh, Soccer Bible, same reasoning and. And cult kits, you know, the boys who sell the retro kits, but they're the, you know, the most clued up of that sort of it, um, epoch of guys, you know, they're really into it. And so, you know, it's, it's exciting to see sort of like the flavor they're going to do on it. But after that, we've also going on, there's other people I kind of can't, can't say, but we're doing like with sort of more mainstream, high end, sort of um, high streety names as well. So lots of cool stuff coming out. The thing I'm trying to tap into is that we all love it. You know, you lot love it, proper love it, Mandiama love it, Soccer Bible love it, you know, 6676. We all love that sport. And so I'm trying to tap into that and tap into that love. And then if you can get like somebody who's in a band 
you know, that kind of direction, not just for the sake of it, but just because you know, like, oh man, you know, when Kasabian did that same thing with Leicester, they love Leicester. Do you know what I mean? Like me working with, you know, just tapping into that love. And so I, I want to tap into the love of football from creative spaces and let them do stuff luckily with us and maybe with the teams we get into. So as soon as we start signing teams, I'm sure more of that are coming more and more. Do you know what I mean? We'll get fan, fans of the teams that we sign that we can then go to and say, look, you know, you're an artist, you're a famous film director, or you're a, you know, you're, you're somebody who, you're from music, you know, come and do something with us and the club. Because you know those people get so excited to work with the club like we do, because we're fans. Do you know what I mean?